everybody, it's your boy Hugh here from Create Up. Today, I just received the brand new E360 4K video camera right now, right here. And I am gonna do an unboxing video and review for you guys right now. Okay, let's unbox this bad boy. Let's cut this open. Okay. Well. And that is the camera right here. Awesome. We don't need this box anymore. Let's put it away. So that is the camera right here. Let's put it that way so you can see it. So as you see in the side of the box, it tells you the feature of this camera. It shoot up to 5.7K in 30 frames per second video, 4K 30 frame with auto stitching, and it can do live stream to 2.5K 30 frame live stream. So this Camera actually built in a professional quality, but just with two lenses. So it's like a slimmed down version of the e Halo camera, which is, is a big push uh, at YouTube space. So I'm very excited. So let's just open it. So come in the box, as you see right here, uh, we have a tripod, which is always good because you always need a tripod leg and also can use it as a, as a hand mount, right? So. We have this really nice, really nice build too. You can check this out. It's really nice build, solid. It's not like the one we get from Nikon Commission. This one is it's actually really solid, really well built tripod legs right here. Super solid. Okay. And the second thing is in the box, I believe this is the battery. Let's put it out. So we have the battery right here. And then Finally, it's the camera right here. Pretty light, I think. So we can definitely use a gimbal stabilizer on this thing. Uh, right here, there's a quarter inch screw. So screw right into the bottom, like that. Like that. Then, then you can turn it to put the camera on the, on the ground and then you can start filming it, which is great. Let's take this thing off. Let's see what else. What else in the box? If you open this, let's put the camera right here for now. There's something in the bottom. There's a lens cloth, the big one. It's gray. And then what else in it? Take this down, and there's this thing right here and here. So a USB cable is actually, look at that. It's actually a USB-C cable. It's not a just a regular USB cable. That's great. So that means this camera uses USB-C. Let me see if that's the case. So here is the side panel. We just hit open, open it, and have a mini HDMI so you can actually live review it, hopefully. And then here with the USB-C cable. So uh, that's great because I have a MacBook Pro which uses USB-C and USB. So meaning that they leverage the fast, really fast like, transfer speed to, uh, from the footage to my laptop, which is a great for pole production. And again, here you see the SD card slot right here. This is the SD card slot. Uh, USB cable right here. Uh, HDMI, mini HDMI, USB-C, and the battery is put right in here. Okay, so I peel this thing, and there is a by uh, arrow, up and down arrow. Again, I have no idea what this does. Uh, and also there's a big giant button here. I assume it's a record or power button right here. And that is all the button on the whole system. So I believe this is the LED screen right here. This is the LED screen. Okay, let's continue to look at what's in the box. Oh, it comes with a really nice uh, leather case. Perfect, so you can put the camera right here. All right, put it in. And then you can go travel with it. Which is really tiny and small, it's perfect. So this camera is really well built compared to all the other 360 camera I see uh, from China. Uh, so, and I'm really happy about the build of the camera. What else do we have? Uh, we have a social media card, uh, some other product, and a quick start guide right here. And the instruction menu that teach you how to use the camera right here. So, uh, do you see this is the LED screen? 
up and down button and there is the power and shutter button and OK button right here. So for right now, I will go ahead and try to shoot some test footage and show you guys how the camera perform right now. So now we have the battery in the camera. Let's turn the camera on uh, by holding the power button right here, right here. Hold it. So until you hear say uh, this the charm sound and then on the LED screen it actually say hi this is E360 VR camera the camera just say hi to me it's kind of cool if you push it again it will tell you to download the E360 app from the Google Play or Apple Store and the next page you hit it again right ask you to download the EPC tool and eTechnology.com and then first step is to ask you to select a location and I'm in United States right now. So I pick United States. And then now we select a Wi-Fi frequency. Uh, I will select 5G because I have a 5G network. And then the next thing you see is this video icon. And then tell you, have, uh, tell you the Wi-Fi is on, tell you the battery power, and tell you there's no SD card in it because no SD card in it. So, uh, so right here. I will open it and put in, the, put in the SD card. Slot it in and close it. Immediately, you see the LED screen will tell you that uh, it detected the SD card. So now we attach the E camera on top of a monopod so uh, we can do some testing of the camera. So in order to see it, I actually got control the camera with a mobile app. Uh, the mobile app is actually really good compared to other camera. So I'll just demo it right now. So turn the camera on by holding the power button right here. And you hear the sound, and the camera is on. And then uh, go ahead and, and open the phone and go ahead and download the E app. I already downloaded it right here, it's E360. So. Uh, first, I need to connect with the camera. So go into Wi-Fi. So if you turn the E camera on, it just send a Wi-Fi signal. It does not. So see here, Y, uh, y uh, E360 camera uh, is in this panel. If you go to info, you can see the Wi-Fi info. You will see the password and the Wi-Fi name. The password is actually very simple. It's just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. That's your password. Type it in. So basically. Type it in uh, and connect to the E360 Wi-Fi. After it connect, you can go ahead and open the E app, which is right here. So now uh, we connected the phone app with the camera so you can see all the feature of this camera. So if you hit this thing at uh, the plus button icon, it connects to the camera. And now you see, uh, if you see the screen right here, you actually see me, uh, you get a light preview of this camera, which is pretty amazing for a consumer level camera, but have a professional level of like quality app. So first, uh, my biggest concern of using the e-camera is use it as a video camera. So the first thing we look at is the video function. So they have a cell timer to, uh, to turn the camera on and off. Uh, the ISO, so ISO right now lowest go to 400s and then all the way up to 6400s. Uh, so uh, I usually come with auto ISO, uh, but I usually want to control my ISO to make sure the camera don't capture a lot of noise. So I usually go with the lowest if possible, which is the native ISO of this camera is 400s. So uh, you can adjust your EV level uh, over and under expo. Uh, you can adjust your uh, white balance, uh, you, you can adjust like daylight, cloud, and auto, which is a great feature. And then you can also adjust your sharpening level. So I like usually uh, turn the higher sharpening level because one of the common complaints of any 360 video camera is it, the footage looks too soft. And so I actually want to see like how the, how the footage look like with this uh, feature turned on as the high sharpening feature. Uh, and that is setting for video, but again, you can hit this gear icon and now you have more setting. So in resolution, uh, now it's on a 4K 30 FPS. The reason why is because I turned on camera stitching on, but if you want to stitch the footage 
in their software. E-camera also comes with a PC and Mac software that can help you to stitch footage and the software is free. So it's great. You can literally stitch 5.7 footage with the software. You don't need to use AVP and Mexica if you don't want to. Uh, again, I'm looking for the highest res resolution possible because that's the reason why I get this camera. Uh, let's go ahead and turn on the, well, you know what? Let's first test out the uh, 4K auto stitch. See how good is the stitching. So, uh, Right here, I'll hit record. It's recording right now. Again, you see a live preview. Again, live preview of the recording. That's pretty amazing. So uh, I am close. I am far away from the camera. I put my hand on both sides. See if there's any stitching. I can actually pan around and see if my hand have a stitching right here. As you see, uh, maybe a little bit stitch. So really close really far away the stitching is actually really good in camera stitching is actually really good so just the other side right here far away okay the stitching is surprisingly good because the sensor is so close to each other so that's a good news so let's stop the recording so we already see a really good stitching in in the in-camera stitching. So let's test out uh, post-stitching with the software or even with Mystica or AVP. Uh, so now go ahead and hit the gear icon right here. Um, so one thing I love to have is I always want to have the high speed rate as possible, which is 80s, but actually I can go higher. So I go ahead and turn off camera stitching. So now I don't want the camera stitching for me. I want to stitch it myself. And then in here now should have more option. Okay, so now we go into resolution. And then now you see that uh, after I turn off the camera stitch, you have more option in resolution. So what you can shoot uh, 4K, 5K, and up to 5.7K, which is 6K. You can shoot 6K of this consumer grade camera, which is ridiculous. So I go ahead and want to pick the highest resolution to 5.7K. In 30 frames per second, and then in the bit rate, I want to go up to 120 M uh, MPS. So higher bit rate meaning capture more information, meaning that you have more information work in post production. So because I gotta bring the footage in Premiere and color grade it, I want to have as higher quality as possible. So as you see here, you can also have flat color mode, the log mode. Uh, let's first test the uh, non-flat color mode. So see how it look like. And um, again, something really weird here is the selfie indoor and outdoor. I don't know what this option is. Probably affect the stitching, but again, since I'm not using in camera stitching, so I will not look at that. Uh, okay, so up this setting. Again, ISO, uh, auto white balance, and auto uh, EV is zero. So go ahead and hit record. So now the video is recording in 5.7K. Uh, I will overlay the video on top of the current footage. You can look around. Uh, so again, I test the stitching. Right here, left hand, right hand, I'm very close to the camera. Very far from the camera. Really close to the camera with my two hand. And very far to the camera with my two hand. And then I put my hand over here. The back balance. So uh, you should see the quality of stitching in post with the software, but one of the footage is not stitched. So uh, it would be really interesting to see to bring the footage into the software and see how it performs. So okay, we can go ahead and stop it. And now let's tell about the log color mode, the flat color mode. See how kind of magnitude I can get from uh, color grading with the log mode. So go ahead and hit the icon again and turn the flat color mode. And now we're shooting flat color mode. You can actually see a display. The display actually show you here on a flat color mode, which is really amazing. The light, the light preview thing, I don't think even the Insta360 Pro don't have a light preview. And that is that light, real time light preview. That's amazing. So go ahead and hit record. Um, again, I'll put the footage on top of this video. But again, 
Uh, my house is actually indoor right now, but I have a lot of window. If you look around, the two camera pointing at the, this camera. But if you can see outside, uh, if I can color grade and let you see the outside of the house, uh, that is a really impressive lock black color mode. And you can literally use this camera as a realistic house showing uh, camera that show the interior in 360 for the house you're selling and buying. Uh, you don't need to purchase like expensive camera like a ZGAM or, or Insta360 Pro and you can just use the E to do it, which is really amazing if that is possible. So we will see actually bring a footage in Paul to see how good the performance. But now go ahead, I stop the recording. Okay, so now that is video mode. So let's go ahead and take a picture mode. This camera actually also take amazing pictures. So go ahead, I switch to photo. Uh, and then photo mode, I also can go as low as a hundreds, uh, which I won't have no noise. So I always love to control my ISO. And these kind of features only come with professional camera and actually come with this camera. That is really amazing. So if you know how to take good picture, you have the control of all the settings you need. Uh, again, I want to turn off flat color mode and I want to take 5K, uh, 6K, 5.7, which is 6K resolution, 6, 6K photos. Um, shutter speed, normal, auto, and then I can turn on the camera stitching. Uh, it's fine, you can stitch photo in camera. So uh, now it's loading. Let's make, sure, let's make sure it's ready. Okay, now it's ready. Uh, just go ahead and snap my picture in two second countdown. Okay, picture is taken. You can hit the beat sound right there. So hit this icon and we can preview the picture right now. So look at that. So look really good. Look at that. You can clearly see the detail outside as well. Look, look at the detail of the window. Wow. That is amazing. So again, you can download it and save it on the phone. And then you can see a high resolution of the photo. Key icon. So let's go ahead and take a flat color photo. See how it looks like. So it's thinking. Go ahead. And that is a flat color mode. Take it. So go ahead and check it out. So flat color mode, uh, see flat color mode really like drop down the EV and you can see like now the detail from outside the window is really clear. It's, the sky is not blowing out so much, outside is not blowing out so much and you can actually see outside right now. Uh, which is, might be very useful uh, if you're taking indoor picture and you want to see outside the window. Again, the application will be realistic project or house showing and you want to sell a house, you want to take picture of the house in 360. That might be the camera you want. Okay. So again, in preview, you can turn it into a tiny planet. So this is a tiny planet mode. And there's the, the ball mode, which is kind of cool, right? You can do that. Just crystal ball mode. And then the eco rectangular view right here. And here, if you have, um, if you want to use a gyroscope, turn on phone gyroscope, right now you can actually use a gyroscope to preview the picture, like that. Or if you have a VR goggle, you can turn it into a VR goggle and slap this on a Samsung Gear or Google Cardboard and do the actual VR preview, which is like a great feature. That's all already built in in the app, so this is pretty amazing. Okay, last thing I want to try to demo you uh, is the time lap. So time lap, I will set an interval for two seconds. Control ISO to four hundreds. Uh, do it high. And now I came taking time lap, and that is one of the other feature that a lot of like uh, professional camera have and consumer camera don't have is a take high quality time lap. So this camera allow you to take time lap. But actually, let's stop the time lap. Look at what is the option of a time lap photo and video. So in time lap, if you turn on in camera, turn off in camera stitching, uh, you can go up to five point seven to six K time lap. 
you can do a 6K time lapse video. That's really amazing. So uh, I'm curious to bring this camera to record a sunrise and sunset. I'm actually gonna bring the camera to Buffer Festival in Toronto, and I'm gonna record some sunrise and sunset to see how is this lens perform as a time lapse video camera. Um, and again, I can pick on the high speed rate, five, six uh, K high speed rate. Uh, turn off black color mode, and go ahead and shot some time lapse. So this is my unboxing and initial review of the brand new EVR camera. Uh, to me, this camera has a lot of potential. Why right now the camera is still uh, not released yet. It will release around October or end of October. Uh, but uh, I will continue to make more tutorial uh, tips and tricks and review of this camera uh, when new firmware come out, come out and new feature added onto the camera. Uh, to me, why this camera is why I'm so looking forward to this camera compared to other camera like the GoPro Fusion uh, or other professional camera because this camera presents this other opportunity for me to use as a professional videographer, 360 videographer. Because instead of having a really expensive Z cam or Insta 360 Pro or Obsidian on stage and one angle to capture everything, I can potentially purchase five or six of this camera, this camera is cheap, it's only 400 bucks. So I can purchase like five of them and place this on a DJ table, on the audience, on different like weird angle to capture different like perspective of 360 uh, of the footage. And then I can cut them together in post-production. And there's a different style of 360 video. Why not use 360 video? It's not, not too much of cutting around and usually just like one take for a long time. But uh, with this camera, I can capture multiple angles and I can, I can switch between multiple angles to provide live perspective uh, of the live set, uh, of the thing I capture. And I think there's an advantage for that. Uh, the camera shot in 6K, so it's high enough resolution for Facebook and even YouTube. So if you like this video, please give me a thumb up. Uh, Again, uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions about this camera, please comment below and I will see you next time.